Hey guys, how's it going? Aaron here with Double A Shaves, and we are back again for another video. So today's shave is inspired by Jim Co. Shave Den and Matt from Shaving the Day. So we're both awesome dudes. I'll link to their channels down in my description. So recently they both did videos where they had all of their shave soap samples they put into a bag and they just picked it at random. And I thought it was a really cool idea. So that's what I'm deciding deciding to do today for my shave. So thank you guys for the inspiration. So we got our handy dandy bag of shave soap samples. And uh, let's see, I got samples in here from, we got Eric from Better Every Shave, Josh from Jump Behind a Scent, and Ben from The Soap Thing. I have samples in here from all of them. And also awesome dudes. I'll be sure to link to their channels in my description as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just really excited. I'm just gonna pick one at random for today's shave and we're gonna, and I haven't used any of these, so we're gonna see which one I get. And I'm also gonna do the same thing after the shave. I'm gonna pick a random uh, aftershave sample from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. So these are all, they sell $1 aftershave samples on PEA's website. Um, so these are actually, yeah, I built up a lot of them. These are all scents that I wanted to smell, but I just didn't get around to using a lot of them in my shaves. So I thought it'd be fun to pick an aftershave at the end of the shave too, from Phoenix, so. All right, so my bag of samples here. I'm gonna shake it up, I'm not gonna look. And I'm gonna pick one out. All right, so we got Declaration Grooming Fake Yellow Light. So Josh from Jet Behind a Scent was kind enough to send me this one, so thank you. Um, so I am familiar with the Declaration Grooming soap base. Uh, this is Milk Steak. I got a couple other Declaration soaps in Milk Steak and I really, really do like that base. Um, this is a great scent. I love Fake Yellow Light. So I got the scent notes here. Let me read them off while I'm putting this in my bowl here. So Fake Yellow Light is, uh, let's see, where'd I write it down? Leather, tobacco, amber, chestnut, almond, chai, cognac, walnut and vanilla so i think the description on for this on the declaration grooming site is uh, scott from declaration grooming i think he said that this was the warmest scent that he's ever made and it's a really really warm scent really good for you know the winter months i would definitely have to agree um yeah just smelling it off of the off of the tub here just really, really nice, warm, kind of like warm, woody scent. Just really, really good for the colder months. So I'm looking forward to, uh, let me get it lined up in the bowl here. And, uh, looking forward to what kind of what happens with the scent. Yeah, milk steak was always really, really easy to lather up. I really like it. So let me go ahead and start working that. Let me read the notes again. So yeah, fake yellow light. Leather, tobacco, amber, chestnut, almond, chai, cognac, walnut, vanilla. So, so yeah, warm. It's got a nuttiness to it that's really nice. Kind of warm, nutty. Is there any wood in there? Leather, tobacco, amber, chestnut, almond, chai, cognac, walnut. So I guess like, yeah, warm and nutty. Tobacco and leather. Let me see if I'm getting any of the tobacco and leather. I don't really get too much of the leather. I do kind of get the tobacco kind of mixed in with the kind of the warm, the vanilla nutty type notes. I love scents with vanilla too. You can just never go wrong with putting vanilla in a scent to kind of, kind of round it out. Go ahead and add some water to the bowl here. Oh yeah, brush is the, um, I always use this brush, the Yaki 30 millimeter barber pole. This thing is such a beast, I love it. Yeah, I'm really glad Josh sent me this sample because I am a big fan of the Declaration Grooming 
and the milk steak base. And man, the scent is just right up my alley. Just warm, woody. You know, I love the vanilla. It's great. Yeah, th this is this is actually one where I would buy this set. It's just really, really dang good. Yeah, so my last addition of water into the bowl was actually pretty big. So I'm kind of... <laughs> Sometimes when I'm not paying too much attention, I'll like add way too much water in the bowl, but it looks like it's working out here. Yeah, milk, milk steak was always, I love it because it's like a nice soft soap, easy to apply in the bowl. You can just apply it with your finger and not a lot of the soap kind of sticks to your finger. I noticed with a lot of soaps after you apply it in the bowl, it's really hard to get off your finger, but yeah, milk steak just, it's just really good. I love the, the texture of it. You know what? Wow, I think we already got a pretty good lather here. I didn't even really need that much water. I think I might just go ahead with that. Looks pretty good. We got a lot of lather in that. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wet the face here. Yeah, th th so this is so Josh and I, we traded samples, and this is the one. Since this is one I've been wanting to smell for a while from Declaration Grooming. I saw that he used it in one of his videos. I was like, oh man, I've been wanting to smell fake yellow light for a while. I just never got around to getting the set because, eh, you know, Declaration Grooming, it's really, really awesome stuff. It is a little bit pricey, so getting those sets sometimes, you know, the money can add up, so. Um, but man, I tell you, this, this scent is just really, really good. I'm a huge sucker for, you know, fall slash winter cold weather type scents. I love the, I just love the vanilla in here in the background. It just rounds out all the other notes really well, the, the nuttiness, it's kind of got some dark in, some darkness from the amber um, like I said about the leather, I don't really pick up. Not really getting too much of the leather, maybe, maybe a little bit, but. Yeah, I always like how milk steak lathers up. It's kind of like a, I think it's kind of a lower structure type lather. It's not like super thick, like some of. Some of the other ones like, you know, Phoenix or something like that. But yeah, this is, I love this scent. This is definitely a winner. Very, very good scent for the winter, the fall and the winter. Let me read the notes one more time, make sure. Yeah, leather, tobacco, amber, chestnut, almond, chai, Cognac, walnut, vanilla. Right up my alley. All right, lather's looking pretty good here. Let me... All right, looks nice. Yeah, I didn't even add too much water to this to this lather. Um, it's already, it's looking and feeling pretty good. I'll see how it performs, but I'm. Just by the way it looks and feels, I'm pretty happy with it. So. All right, so the razor for today. I forgot to mention at the beginning of the shave. So this is the, I think it's Bali or Bailey. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but this is the Bailey twist to open adjustable. Uh, it's still on Sterling's website for like nine bucks, you know, I'm into, it's a nice cheap razor. I said, why not? Um, so yeah, I got it. It just has like a plus and a minus for the aggression level. So last time I used this on, um, all the way mild, it didn't even like get through the soap. So it just left a lot of soap. So I'm just going to be using it today. Both passes, I'm going to be using it on all, all the way aggressive, so. All right, here we go. Oh, that's better. Okay, 
That is better. Yeah, funny, Josh from Jet Behind Ascent actually, he actually recommended this one to me, so it's Razor. We got a soap from him and we got a Razor, so. Thank you, Josh. Oh, and this is packed with a Vosh cutter. I love Vosh cutter, Russian made blades. Wow, so now that I'm using this in the most aggressive setting, this is, this razor is just awesome. This might be my cheapest razor. This was $10. I think shipping was like really small. Wow, I'm actually really impressed with the way this is doing. Yeah, the, the the slickness on on milk steak declaration grooming is just one of the best on the market. It's so good, just insane. The razor just glides effortlessly. Man, it's funny. Like you could, I've been shaving for years, and like some parts of the neck are still so awkward. You just gotta do your best. But man, I tell you for for a ten dollar razor, I mean this is this is just killing it, man. I love this. Wow, yeah, it just goes to show you don't always need like the expensive razor. Dang, that is great first pass there. Great first pass. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave it on all the way aggressive. Pretty against the grain pass. I gotta miss a few spots here. Great base, one of the best push shave slickness sips on the market. For sure. Yeah, so I think because I had a lot of growth, I think um, I thought there were a few spots I missed, but it turns out the little clumps of hair just kind of added, kind of were showing, you know, kind of got added up there, so. But man, for, I think I got like seven days growth, so this razor is doing a great job. Yeah, Yaki Synthetic, man, this barber pole. I love the size of this brush, just lathers great. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit more of the leather now. I think when I smelled it off the tub, I didn't, but I kind of, I'm getting a little bit of it in the background. And that's actually how I prefer leather scents. I don't like when the leather is too much up front. I kind of like when it's in the background mixed in with some other stuff. Kind of like, uh, there's one from, I reviewed not long ago called Lone Star from Noble Otter, where it's like a warm leather. Yeah, just really, really nice. All right, so we're just gonna go against the grain here and we're gonna see how it goes. All right. Yeah, so this uh, this razor has like a really long handle. The knurling looks cool, but it's kind of, it's a little slippery.
but you know, hey, for a cheap razor, it's really doing good. Yeah, it's mowing down the hair real nice here. The slickness on the soap is insane. It's one of the best in the market. I think um I think Bear Certain Man's Omnibus. I uh, beat it out a little bit, but this one is like second place. A little pricier soap, but you know, I mean the ingredients are probably expensive, so I get it. Great shave. You see if I miss anything? Man, I tell you what, that was a really, really good combo. Good razor, good soap, good scent. Really happy with this. Very nice. Very nice shave. Thank you, Josh, for the soap there. All right, so now it's time to randomly pick a Phoenix aftershave, and we're going to see which one we get. Hopefully it's one of the ones I enjoy more and don't, don't hate, but <laughs> most of them are good. So let me go ahead and shake up the bag. I'm going to dig in somewhere around in the middle there. We're going to pick one out. All right, so I got Future Fiction. So I don't have the, frankly, I don't have the notes for Future Fiction in front of me, but I've smelled it before and it's a great scent. It's sort of, uh, I'm having trouble getting the bag open here. There we go. It's sort of on the cologne side. It's like a nice kind of, let me crack it open here. Yeah, just a really like masculine cologne kind of, Sophisticated scent, really, really nice. Really nice. I think I'll be able to smell it once it's on my face more. So, yeah, these $1 aftershave samples from Phoenix are just great. Yeah, so th this, this scent is really nice, actually. I never, I should have smelled this more. I, I only, like, smelled it a few times when I first got it. Took a few whips, but... Yeah, it's just a really, really nice cologne type fragrance. There's a lot going on in it, in it too. It's kind of complex, but just really good every day kind of wear. Just really, really awesome. Wow. Yeah, I'm not usually like too into cologne scents, but this scent is great. Um, so yeah, wow, that was, I'm really happy with my picks today and my face feels great. That was just a great shave, so um thank you all you guys who sent me the samples thank you josh for the sample of fake yellow light provided a really good shave today and yeah i'm really happy with it so again thank you guys for all the support thank you for my subscribers uh it just really means a lot that you take time out of your day to come watch my videos and i really enjoy watching your guys's content as well so uh, everyone keep it up and i hope you guys have a good rest of your week so take care